Hey everyone, it's Vince here. Welcome back to another money making app review. On today's review, we are covering the money making application called AppFlame. Now, AppFlame is an application that will apparently reward the players for playing games on their mobile phone. So on today's video, I'm going to be using the application from start to finish to achieve that cash out reward. The currencies that AppFlame is offering up at this current time is PayPal and iTunes, at least here in Australia. In your country, AppFlame might offer something completely different. And that's something I wanna get into later on in this review. But for now, please remember to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I am only a one man show everyone. So it does take me some time to get these reviews out. But thank you all so much for being patient with me. Let's kick this off now. Once you've signed up to AppFlame, it will then ask you for what your age and gender is. Now I believe the reason why it actually does this is because it's trying to generate a list of applications for you guys to use out there. And I think the reason behind that is because it doesn't want to give the wrong type of applications to the wrong people. And in my head though, I don't know how they really can make a distinction between what application you guys might like. I understand maybe they think that male genders might like first person shooters more or something like that. But then again, it shouldn't be up to the app developer, in my opinion, to decide what apps you guys like or don't like. I wish they actually gave you the choice. But sadly, that does not happen here on AppFlame. So now that you have had your auto-generated list made for you, you'll then have the options of actually completing surveys or completing in-game offers as well. For this review, everyone, I actually stayed away from completing surveys or completing the in-game offers. My pure intention was just to show you all how much money you can make specifically from playing games. Now, the funny thing is, when it comes to AppFlame, the money-making system will change depending on what country you are from. So here in Australia, for some reason, they have made it that I must complete levels to actually earn any type of in-game coins. Now, these coins can be converted into real-life money if you get enough of them. The problem is, everyone, I have to actually sit through and play all these applications one by one completing the levels. Whereas in your country, you might just have to open up the application and let it run on your mobile phone. And this is a big problem to me. Why would they make it specifically for some countries you have to complete levels, but then in some countries you get to actually just leave the app running in the background while doing nothing? Because you know for a fact that people are doing that, okay? But either way, I did continue to play the application. So I spent hours pretty much playing applications for today's video, guys, okay? Now I wanna to talk to you about the in-game currency system now that I've mentioned coins. AppFlame runs on a coin-based system where either you complete levels or complete surveys or in-game offers or just play games to generate coins. Here is the cash out options for here in Australia, okay? This might look different to you guys living in your country, but at least for here in Australia, these are the options that I was offered to cash out my coins with. Something that I really enjoyed about AppFlame though was the choices of games that I had to play. Thankfully, I had well over about eight or nine applications to actually choose from to earn my in-game coins with. The thing is everyone, obviously depending on the application, that will kind of vary with the coins that you earn for playing it. So one application might pay a lot more than another application. Don't ask me why, I'm assuming it's depending on the difficulty factor of that application perhaps, but Either way, I usually start with the highest paying applications first and then work my way towards the lowest paying applications towards the end of a cash out. I would just like to take a quick second out of today's video to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators like myself. On Skillshare, you're able to explore new skills and get absolutely lost in creativity. I personally have been looking into the freelance and entrepreneurship classes, plus the film and video classes as well, guys, to help improve myself as a creator. And I feel like you guys out there would absolutely love some of the classes available on Skillshare right now. I myself would love to make some sort of documentary style of video, so I've been watching Elaine McMillan Sheldon's Create a Short Documentary Video Portrait Series. To the first 1,000 people that use my link in the description below, you will be rewarded with a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. 
Something I did notice that sometimes App Flame would not count when I progressed throughout a level, and that was very frustrating to me. The thing is guys, when I play money making applications, I don't wanna run the risk of an application not counting my playtime correctly. So when things like this happens, it really makes me doubt the application. Now, thankfully it didn't happen all the time, but I did notice some applications did not reward me correctly. And what I also noticed is that it seems like there's some sort of coin limit on applications per day because I was actually capped out at a certain number of coins on each application. And what I mean by that is that it, there's almost like a limit per day on what you can earn with coins on apps when you do play them on App Flame. So you really have to keep that in mind. Always check back on your balance to make sure that App Flame is correctly reflecting your game time. Or you run the risk of literally losing game time, guys. And you really have to be careful with that. If you find that App Flame is not actually counting your coins correctly, you can contact the App Flame support. But in my opinion, why would you want to do that? They should just make the application correct. At the size that App Flame is, and by the company that's actually running it called Just Dice, I'm sure by now they can make this application pretty much perfect. It's just something that really confuses me, everyone. I don't know why in this time and age and how far we are into making money on applications, developers still allow applications to go live on the Play Store that do not correctly reward their players. It's very, very annoying to me. Each of the applications that you play, even though they are in different variety, will pretty much have the same gimmick, and that's watching advertisements over and over again. What you'll start to realize is that there's a big money-making system here with these online money-making applications is where you pretty much give up your time to watch ads and in return you get a little slice of the revenue that the developers will make for you guys watching ads. Think about it guys, every app that is on App Flame and these money-making applications has actually been approved and paid for by those game developers. So let's say you play a game called Cat Escape. Either that developer has paid App Flame to allow us, the players, to play Cat Escape, or App Flame has some sort of shared investment with Cat Escape. So pretty much what you guys have to understand is that we're only getting a certain cut of the revenue from these money-making applications, okay? Obviously, App Flame is taking a large chunk of that revenue, and of course, the developer of those games that App Flame allows on its platform is also getting paid when we watch the advertisements when we play those applications. So it's like a big circle of revenue being earned, but we get like the tiniest percentage. And for some people, that's okay, but you can never really consider these applications as genuine, real ways to earn money online where you can actually make some sort of living off them. That's just not how it works, everyone, and I've said that since day one. The amount of money you can expect to earn on these applications is literally dollars per every few hours. Some of these applications literally take like three or four hours to even earn one dollar. I really don't have much to complain about with the applications that were supplied to me, though. I did enjoy playing them level by level. I do have complaints about App Flame itself not counting my playtime correctly, and the fact that I was always checking my balance every couple of minutes to make sure that App Flame actually did register what I was doing. But I am certain that I lost out on coins because App Flame did not update its balance correctly. Because it's happened lots of times as well during my experience reviewing these applications made by Just Dice. I don't know why they have this problem. Now, to talk about how much money I actually earned on App Flame. The thing is, everyone, it took me eight hours or so of pure completing levels on games to earn only pretty much $2.30 in Australian currency. That is right, so eight hours for around $2.30. Now, depending on your country, this might be a lot or it might be nothing. Here in Australia, that is definitely not worth the time investment. Maybe in your country though, if App Flame is actually allowed to be played in your country, you might earn a considerable amount of money just for playing games, or you might not care that you're getting paid that little amount of money, you're just happy to be paid. It all depends on the person, okay? For me in Australia, using App Flame would definitely not be worth it. In your country though, you might look at it differently and that's your choice. So when I went to cash out my money on App Flame though, I was greeted with the face verification system. So yes, App Flame does have face verification, just like many, if not all, of the Just Dice applications. 
This is something that you all have to keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen. When you expect to cash out on these money-making applications these days, you will have to supply face identification. So please remember that if you do not feel comfortable doing that, this application would not be for you. In fact, many money-making applications online would not be for you either because most do require some sort of face verification now, at least with the applications made from Just Ice. Thankfully though, everyone, once I did activate that cash out order, I was paid two times by Just Ice within 12 hours of actually asking for that cash out as well, which was very nice to see. So again, Just Ice does not let us down with the cash out process, but what they do let me down with is the application not actually counting my gameplay time correctly, which of course is a massive problem when you are literally paying someone such little amount of money for their time. So hopefully they can make some changes to improve their gameplay recognition software. But that was my experience with AppFlame, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys have been amazing as always. I will catch you all in the next video in one to two days. See you next time, guys.